A young South Sudanese woman is encouraging South Sudanese women to join male-dominated professions. As part of the International Women's Week, Amel Ajongo Maywood spoke to our reporter Winnie Chirino about how she managed to achieve her childhood dream of becoming a pilot. 21-year-old Amel Ajongo Mawut is the daughter of Achok Madiu Madut and James Ajongo Mawut, the late former chief of general staff of the then SPLA. She is the third child in a family of three girls and one boy. Mawut says ever since she was a little girl, she dreamed about becoming a pilot. When I was very small, that was in class, when I was in class four, that was in 2007. So you just get so excited when you just see aircrafts. And then people look at you wondering, what's wrong with this girl? So when I got in a high school, the, the interest became more and more. So when I finished my high school, immediately, you know, people would think of, Let me, I'll do driving school, I'll do computer, and then maybe I join university. For me, it was like, I'm done, I want to start flying. Mawood says she went to St. Elizabeth Primary School in Nairobi and later attended Loreto Convent, Musongari, for secondary education. After high school, she joined the Kenya School of Flying in Nairobi in 2016 and graduated in July last year. She says when she first told her parents she planned to become a pilot, they were happy and eager to support her decision. But she says her mother worried about her daughter flying planes, especially after she heard about a plane crash or a plane gone missing. Mawood says in training, students undergo an assessment in which an instructor flies with them for three hours, which is intended to acquaint students with the aviation industry and familiarize them with the aircraft. After the assessment, she says students sit for exams and must pass with at least a 70% score in theory courses such as navigation, map reading, principles of flights, operations, and metrology. Finally, Mawood says there comes the day when students are told to fly solo. You look at the seat days and know when it's just you and you alone. So you have to be careful. You do about six hours solo, like just getting the confidence of flying alone. And then after that, uh, you get to the local area where you're taught engine failures, such things. So in case maybe you get an engine failure, you know how to react to it. Maud finished flying school and came to Nairobi Wilson Airport, where she performed her general flight test, then received her private pilot license from Kenya Civil Aviation Authority. Eight months later, she obtained a commercial license. Mawood says there were five other girls training with her to get a private pilot's license, but she was the only girl out of 14 students who trained to get a commercial license. Because of her age, Mawood is not yet allowed to fly commercial airplanes. Once she turns 23, she can fly for a big airline like Kenya Airways or Ethiopian Airlines. Last November, she flew a caravan chartered flight from Juba to Awil, and she says she looks forward to one day flying huge airplanes like the Boeing 777. Depending on what you'd want to do, because for me, I, I want to be an airline pilot, not a bush pilot, because general aviation is a bit hard for women. Just that, you know, they can call you anytime. You're just sleeping, and then they tell you, know what, there's a flight tomorrow. And they know if it's airline, you know, I'm supposed to fly on this day, this day, I'm free. Okay, may I want that. I want something planned. Mawood urges parents to support their daughters to achieve their dreams, and she encourages young girls not to be afraid to join male-dominated careers. It's not a smooth journey, per se, because there are so many things you will encounter. Most of us, female are very few in this uh, industry. It's a male-dominated industry. So people always talk, you know, but then don't listen to them, just do your thing. Mawood says she is making arrangements with an aviation company in South Sudan so she can train with them for some time to get familiar with the country's geography before she starts flying for a commercial airline. At the moment, Mawood is co-founder and vice president of South Sudan Sisterhood, a national organization supporting young girls with sanitary towers to help them stay in school. For VOA News, I am Winnie Serino in Juba.